Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss closet clean out. When I started my journey with minimalism, the first place I started was my closet. For me, it just made the most sense. It was the place where I had the most items and it was kind of the things that I had the least amount of attachment to. But as I've gone further in my own journey and have helped others on their journey, I've realized that the closet can actually be a really difficult place for people to start their purging journey. There are so many questions we have to ask ourselves. When is the last time I wore this outfit? Will I wear this outfit again? What kind of sentimental value does this piece give me? Is it worth holding on to? So in today's video, I am going to give you 10 items that you can ditch immediately, making the process just a little bit easier. Let's jump right in. Number one, items that are noticeably destroyed. This includes rips or stains or missing buttons. Will you take the time, energy, and or money to fix this item, or will you never get to it? If the answer is no, get rid of it. Clothing that is damaged takes up more time to work around the issue than it does to just start fresh. Maybe you have a shirt that has a stain and you're constantly trying to cover it up by use of a cardigan or high-waisted jeans. That item is taking more effort than it needs to, so just get rid of it. Number two, clothing that has an odd or ill or unflattering fit. You know what I'm talking about. The item that you are constantly pulling up or pulling down or the item that has a stretched out neckline or the item where something just pulls tight in an odd area. Your outfit should be comfortable and make you feel powerful. You shouldn't feel the need to throughout the day adjust and make it feel better. It's just a waste of your time and effort. Number three, and probably the most obvious, items that you have not worn in the past year. If you haven't worn it in the past 365 days, are you really gonna wear it tomorrow? Probably not. Number four, clone items. This can include dresses that have the same print or the same fit or the same cut, or purses that have similar texture or a similar shape, or shoes. Maybe you have five pairs of black flats but you're always grabbing for one pair. The duplicate items are not necessary. They take up time, energy, and space in your closet and they make you less likely to pull together an outfit quickly. Number five, your worn pajamas. I know we all have them, the pair of sweatpants that we have had since we were in high school or middle school or whatever because they are just so comfortable. They might be comfortable, but do they really make you feel great about yourself? If something doesn't make me feel good during the day, I'm not going to wear it. That also applies to items at night. I like to feel good at night. I think it makes me feel more connected to my body. I get a more restful sleep. I feel more intimate with my husband. When your relationships are better and your night's sleep is better, your days are better overall. Number six kind of ties in with number five, and that is your lounge items or your paint clothes or your bumming around clothes. So basically anything that you put on when you know you're having a lazy day and you don't really want to get dressed, if it doesn't make you feel good, get rid of it. Your clothes set the tone for your day in many cases. When you are wearing something that makes you feel good, you are more likely to be productive. On the other hand, when you're wearing something that doesn't make you feel good, chances are you are not going to be productive. Number seven, and probably the most difficult item to get rid of, is those what-if items. Items that you bought for a certain event that you have never attended, or items that you want to pass down to your children, maybe if they want to wear it on their wedding day, or items that you are saving in case you lose weight. Those what-if items are taking up space in your brain, therefore taking up energy from your body. Chances are most of these items are easily replaceable at an affordable price. And let's be real with ourselves, do our children really want to wear our wedding gowns 20 years from now when styles are going to be totally different and things are going to be more modernized? Probably not. Number eight, trendy items. These are the items that are in trend for a little bit and then go out. Maybe this includes that jean jacket that you wore one time and then never wore again, or that jean skirt that was in style for a little bit but now you just aren't a fan of. You should not hold on to it if it's something you wore one time and you probably will never wear again. Number nine, dingy whites or faded blacks. I know we all have them, that white shirt that's more yellow than white, 
or that gray shirt that we try to convince ourselves is gray but really it just looks dirty or those black pair of jeans that are so faded they almost look gray. If these items look better in their original form, get rid of them, buy a new pair, start over. And finally, number 10, those one-time items. This can include things like Halloween costumes or wedding dresses or bridesmaid dresses. This is often the most difficult for people because a lot of these items hold sentimental value, but these items can take up a ton of space in your closet. These are often items that can be passed down and hold a lot of value for someone else. So think that item, appreciate what it did for you in that moment and then find someone else that can have, find more value in it than you do at this stage in your life. I hope these beginner tips have helped you guys in your closet clean out. If you do like these type of videos, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below letting me know what room you would like us to tackle next. If you are a fan of anything minimalism or veganism or just overall health, wellness, and happiness, be sure to subscribe to this channel, hit the little bell behind this video, and that will notify you of new videos, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!